never guess where we are. And I'm Nia. And today we're taking a break from canoeing to go and study paddlefish. Paddlefish is the answer to this week's riddle. Enough talking. Let's go. Before we talk about paddlefish, let's meet the fisheries biologists who study them. This week we've been paddling down the Mississippi River, but today we're with fish biologists Nick and Seth to see what they spend their time on the river doing. So, guys, what do you do when you're out here? What are you studying? Oh, I'm studying uh, reproduction and exploitation of paddlefish. So, where the paddlefish are reproducing and then how many are being harvested out of the river every year. Did you catch that? Nick is studying paddlefish, a strange looking fish, to see where they're having babies and how many people are catching them. Without Seth and Nick, we wouldn't know how many fish there were or if they were in danger of extinction. Collecting data is my favorite part. Come on, let's see how it's done. Every day, they drive to a different spot along the river where they've set up their gill nets. Gill nets are huge nets made from fishing line, and when the fish went into them, they get caught. We got to help Seth and Nick pull up the gill nets. It was tough work, and like fish, sometimes we would get caught. Oh, I'm caught! Let me go, I'm not a fish! Sometimes we'd catch a fish, and sometimes we'd catch a special type of fish. <gasps> it's a paddlefish! Once we pulled up a fish, we had to untangle it from the net. Since the fish was out of water, Seth had to work fast so he wouldn't hurt the fish. After the fish was free, we could hardly believe our luck. We just caught a paddlefish in a gill net. Let's freeze this shot and get a close look at the paddlefish. Paddlefish are strange fish that kind of look like sharks. They have a long nose called a rostrum to help them find plankton, which they filter out of the water and eat. Now, get a good look before Ania has to put this paddlefish in a bucket of water to wait until Seth is ready to collect some data on it. To start, Seth takes the fish back out and looks to see if it's been caught before. Can you spot what he's looking for? Exactly! He looks for a lip ring that has a number on it. The tag number is kind of like the fish's name. Once we know what fish it is, Seth uses a specialised ruler to measure its length in millimetres. Then he uses a scale with a net on it to measure its weight in kilogram. This was a big one at 8.5 kilograms, but they can get a lot bigger. As Seth measures, Nick records each measurement on his data sheet. And once they finish, they put the fish back in its home. See you next time, 01925. But paddlefish are not the only fish that call the Mississippi River home. Seth got to wrangle big buffalo fish with punny lips and balloon-shaped bodies. We also caught some slippery carp. And one of our favourite catches was a huge sturgeon. Sturgeon are an endangered fish and they reminded me of dinosaurs. Maybe that's because they're like living fossils and look about the same as they did thousands of years ago. And then we caught a gar. And Seth said something interesting. Sarah likes frogs, but I like fish. Which made me realize they're getting paid to catch fish, which they love. So we asked them a few more questions. I grew up fishing farm ponds, and I just loved going out catching fish. And I, I always had tons of questions running through my head on why things acted certain ways and why fish did certain things. And it led me to. Uh, Iowa State where I did my undergraduate and I learned a lot about fish but I still had a lot of questions that I want answered and I still wanted to learn more about fish so I just kept with it and I did all the internships and I eventually came down to southeast Missouri and I get a chance to answer a bunch of really cool questions on the Mississippi River studying a bunch of really cool fish. Well, I know he answered my questions about paddlefish. I had so much fun being a fisheries biologist for just a day, and so did Sarah. Frogs are cute, but so are fish. I hope you had fun. I know he did. See you next week.
You're never gonna guess what we're about to do. We're taking a break from canoeing to go and catch some paddlefish with some fisheries biologists. Enough talking, let's go. First, Seth takes the fish back out and looks to see if it has been caught before. Can you spot what he's looking for? Exactly! He looks for a lip tag that has a number on it. The tag number is kind of like the fish's name. Once we know what fish it is, Seth uses a specialised ruler to measure its length in millimetres. Then he uses a scale with a net on it to measure its weight in kilograms. This was a big one at 8.5 kilograms, but they get even bigger! Nick records every measurement on his data sheet, and once they finish, they put the fish back in its home. See you next time, 01925! But paddlefish were not the only fish we saw. Seth got to wrangle big buffalo fish with funny lips. And slippery carp. And huge sturgeon that have called the Mississippi River home for thousands of years. And when we caught a gar, Seth said something interesting.